today we're going to be looking at this RG550. <laughs> This is a Craigslist guitar that I bought for $250. And it's rough around the edges. <laughs> I'll just say that right now. Got some got some cracks around the sides. It's got a crack here in the neck area, but hopefully it's not it's just surface and it's not actually affecting the the neck and how uh, how attached it is so this guitar i found on craigslist and the moment i found it on craigslist i posted a picture of it on the ibanez website the rg website and the the ibanez lovers website there was a huge discussion about whether this guitar actually was an, a 1987 or 88 or 89 model RG550 because they didn't make that guitar. They didn't make this color with this neck at all those years. Somewhere along the way, we, we figured out that the neck belonged to a different guitar, but it does seem to be an RG550 neck and it does seem to be an RG550 body and you can tell that by, by this this thing here <laughs> this little cutaway here I guess the 550s are famous for that the cutaway so what do I think of, of this guitar this particular guitar um, well I'm not sure yet it's got a really really super thin neck I mean like super duper thin like the thinnest i've ever seen thin it's really thin stuff i took the truss rod cover off and i'll put that back on uh i only just got a tool to adjust it it's got it doesn't have the type of truss rod adjustment that is a female allen wrench it's got this thing that sticks out so i needed the proper tool and it wasn't until I bought the the RG um, <laughs> Ibanez and their RG names. Uh, uh. Um, what the heck is it? What the heck did I buy? I bought it's, it's this black thing over here. Hold on, I'll just show you. So yeah, this 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 guitar. I'll, I'll do a review on this one too. Um, but right now, but anyways. So I, what the heck model is? I'll look at it. It's a, <laughs> you gotta use my glasses. It's a 652, that's what it is. <laughs> yes, I remember. I didn't lose all my brain cells. Yes. I didn't lose all my brain cells. Yes. Yeah, so when I got, when I got the tool that came with my, my RG652, I was able to adjust the truss rod and get the action pretty, pretty good. So the only thing about the guitar that like, I'm not sure about the pickups, how they sound really. It's loaded with aftermarket Seymour Duncan um, something. The box is, uh, let's check, let's see, what, let's see what they are. So yeah, it was loaded with Seymour Duncan 59 custom hybrids, I guess. So that's what that's what's in here. And I don't know what it is. I think, I think there's something wrong with the electronics. The metal pickup, it looks like there's a huge drop in volume, and the the humbucker, the the bridge pickup, it's it's kind of muddy. I really like the rosewood fingerboard on this thing. It's it's fantastic. It's 30 years old and, and it looks great. There's there's barely any fretware on this thing, and so I'm not exactly sure how or why I got it so so cheap. 
like it had a little bit of damage up there on the on the tip of the horn. No one, no one will ever, no one ever notice that. So yeah, that's my guitar. Um, the the bridge is um, one of the springs is pretty shot. <laughs> this thing here, this this spring here, the spring here is um, it's like it's breaking. So. That can't be good. So I might. I, I think I'm gonna need to replace that. It looks like I need to take off this. It's kind of a thing that holds the springs down, which is kind of unusual. Unscrew that, and then maybe I can just grab another spring. Probably should just steal. I'll steal one from another guitar. So that's that's my RG550. Let's let's play a song. I'll, I'll I won't bore you with the huge musical demo, but. You gotta hear you gotta hear this thing. Listen. things one thing I, I should say about the guitar is that and this goes for here's a statement for all Ibanez guitar owners and I have been noticing this to be true most Ibanez bridges they don't think or they don't focus enough attention on the intonations of, of the strings on Floyd Rose guitars that aren't Ibanez trams, typical Floyd trams, they know where to stick the saddles. On Ibanez trams, they, they just there's not a huge focus on on the location of the saddles, and it's it seems crazy to me how often I pick up an Ibanez and the intonation is just totally off. Just this one, this this guitar needed. I mean, this guitar was out of tune for 30 years, and I fixed the intonation. It took me about half an hour. It's not too easy to, to adjust the, the saddles on, on guitars like this, but 
take the time and do it. And I, at times I need, at times I needed to even take screws out and put them in so the saddle would go far enough in one direction, in the far enough away from, from um, the 12th fret that the intonation was in tune after that, so. So, thumbs up though, I mean, I mean, would I recommend an RG550? Of course. I mean, I, I sort of fell in love with, with the whole, the whole brand because, I mean, every, every RG that I've tried, I've really liked a lot. And when you pick up a, a guitar that's this nice, you really understand why so many guitar, guitar players love Ibanez RGs. That's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to be doing more reviews in the future. Subscribe to my channel. We're going to be reviewing lots of guitars over the next few months. Hopefully the production value gets better along the way. But one thing is for sure, you're going to get an, uh, a perspective from somebody that is less of a heavy metal guitar player uh, and is more of a all around rock rock guitar player so many guys are, are heavy metal guitarists that play these types of guitars and I just I just like modern guitars in general multi-scale multi-string guitars I love them so see you next time peace out all right everyone good night
why such a drop in volume? I don't know. This, I think there's something wrong with electronics. Maybe it needs a new um, five-way switch. Maybe the makeup, the, the middle position just could be the pickup, perhaps. Hey, if you happen to know what the problem might be, leave a comment in the... Uh, if you happen to know what, the, if you happen to know what the answer might be, then please leave a comment and let me know, and that'd be great. You might solve my problem, because I am only, I'm not what I, I'm not what you would consider a total expert on guitars just yet. I'm very, my field of expertise is playing them, but I'm getting better at working on them. I'm pretty good at setting them up, but wiring, not so good. Maybe it's 1989 RG 550. 